just arrived to Cape Town. Yeah. Cape Town. Africa. Are you happy? <laughs> My little traveler. You slept so well. Good morning! <laughs> Good morning, Alexa! It's our first proper day in Cape Town. We arrived yesterday. But you know, when you fly for 11 and a half hours through the night and you sleep about an hour, you feel like you're in a daze. It's like everything is a fog. So we actually slept so Alexa well last night. Shoes. Alexa, what's going on? <gasps> you have sparkly shoes on today? Oh, can I see? Hi. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, so tonight we actually slept like seven and a half. How long did eight we sleep hours. for? Eight, about eight hours. Alexa okay. slept well That's and gross. today I feel like a normal person again. Oh, Sleep is so important. Honestly, for me, I just feel it every single time and especially now that I have a child. So hard. I cannot obviously take naps throughout the day because you know, you're with her and it's, it's different. When you have kids, it's, it's just a different lifestyle. You can't just be like, hey, I'm gonna take a few hours off and just nap. <laughs> you know, and our moms are here. Hi ladies, beautiful ladies. Are you excited yeah, to yeah, see what the day much. will bring today? The sun is so gorgeous. Yeah, day. everybody slept. Everybody is full of energy now. Different country. Yeah. Different experience. Yeah. What are you excited to different do in beauty in Cape Town? I don't know. These palm I, trees are just very fascinating this time for me. I the palm trees are fascinating. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. There's lots of palm trees. There's one right there. But um, yeah, there's it's just many. It's like looking for penguins, like an uh, island. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on an island. I, I just, it's, I, my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time around, last year we didn't go there. There is a place here, which is I think about an hour, maybe a little over an hour, where there are actually penguins. Then they're so cute. I've seen lots of pictures of them. But we didn't get a chance to go last yeah, year because Alexa was so small, yeah. and we just didn't want so the naps. hassle of driving Most. there. <laughs> Yeah, we had to deal with three naps. Now Alexa barely naps. She does one nap, which is roughly about an hour, 45 minutes. So it's going to be a lot easier to get to see the penguins. I'm also very yeah, excited looking about forward. that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're just heading out now for breakfast. And then, yeah, we'll see what the day brings. Two tea. for Alexa. Mm. Is it nice? <laughs> The food in Cape Town is pretty amazing, but especially in this cafe, it's really, really, really good. Do you like it? Thank you very much. So just put Alexa down for a nap, and we're going to enjoy some sun. My skin really needs it. I feel like I'm the palest person in Cape Town. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm the palest. But I really feel pale. And right now, to be honest, is not the most ideal time to be in the sun. But I'm like, sun it's okay. 
very sun deprived that's you that's usually what happens to me when i haven't been in the sun for a long time it's the first few days i'm in a sunny place i end up going in a harsh sun so i'll be honest about it i'll be the first one to say this is what happens sometimes but you know be clever actually stay away from the sun between times of 11 30 and like 3 p.m i'd say that's the harshest time but now I'll just lie down here for a little bit. Yeah, it just feel really good when the sun kisses my skin. It's just such a nice feeling. Those of you who live in sunny places probably don't know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, I think when you're in the sun all the time, you start taking it for granted. Alex is out. Look at the view behind me. This is amazing. And look this way. So you have the beautiful mountain range here. This is the 12 Apostles, right? and the beautiful ocean on this side handsome alex getting some sun yeah i'm just gonna lie down and enjoy the sun now so now we're just getting some work done a lot of you guys always ask me when i do my work how i do my work so i want to show more more of that part of my life to you guys as well because a lot of you are interested so in fact a lot of my work nowadays is done on the phone thank god to iphones and the new screen it's pretty awesome as you can see alex prefers to work on his laptop but for me it just works better because i'm always on the go so i do my emails on the phone i also have whatsapp groups <laughs> group chats with my teams so whenever there's any questions or like back and forth things that actually work a lot faster on whatsapp because i get a notification i don't get notifications for my emails otherwise my email would i mean my phone would be buzzing all the time so whenever there's anything urgent that needs to be addressed it goes in that whatsapp group chats and to be honest there's always something happening there so i'm on my phone responding throughout the day but mostly when alexa is sleeping so it is during her lunch nap which sadly is not that long it can vary anywhere from 30 minutes sometimes to an hour and a half the most she ever sleeps now in the afternoon is two hours that it's a luxury if it happens happen like while. very rarely and then obviously when she sleeps at night she goes to sleep around seven so then That's i good. have a few hours to work in the evening so yeah anyways she's gonna wake up anytime so i'm gonna go back to work on my phone Alex woke up. How are you doing? Happy day. All right, are you guys ready to go? Yes. Let's go. I'm hungry. Yeah, we still haven't had lunch. Papa is hungry. likes to drink from big cups. What is that? Lime. The dedication is real. First time drinking water from a wine glass. <laughs> she just wants to drink from glasses. She does not like her sippy cup anymore, which we have all the time. She prefers the cups and the glasses. Anything that looks like it's adult. So happy we're back in Cape Town. I don't know about you, but there's certain places in the world where Alex and I have been more than hey. once. Are you smiling? You want me to hold this? Where Alex and I have been more than once. For example, California, Positano, south of france and now cape town that when i arrived this time which is our second time in cape town it just felt like we came home there's such a strong feeling of comfort and recognition it just yeah it makes me really happy to actually feel that way because last year when we arrived i was very nervous i didn't know what to expect because it was a 
out of the comfort zone and now and we spent one month here last yeah, year yeah, yeah. I guess and now, maybe when you it's all these places that you mentioned actually those are all places where we've been for like many times a, yeah. and a long time like yeah, we exactly. spent like a month there's no way but Napositan will always yeah. go for at least a few days anyways we're just gonna do some grocery shopping now it wasn't too far from the Mexican place yeah, right, we've so got to go. buy some ginger, lemon, and some natural soap, okay. and a few other things. Okay. Alexa? <laughs> she's wearing such a cute hat because it's really sunny and she's not used to the harsh sun. So she's like, what's going on? And also she keeps yawning, she's so sweet. I think it's the heat kind she's of like making her feel sleepy. This is what happens when we just come for a few ingredients. What are you doing? You guys waiting for me? Okay, I'm done. Beach time. Look at this view. Hi, mom. Hi, Lida. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Alex. <laughs> She's trying to cover you with the sand. <laughs> so cute. Oh, oh, she loves the sand. Alexa, look doggies. Look doggies over there. Oh, so sweet. There's so many dogs here. It's amazing. What a view behind me. Wow. So mom, what's your first impression of Cape Town? Mm -hmm. I mean, you've been here now for over 24 hours, as you can tell us. The Blue Soleil. <laughs> <laughs> Translation. The <laughs> Laboyant. First she said it. In, yeah. First she said it in French, then she said it in Russian. Blue okay. sky. Yeah, you haven't seen blue sky in a while, right? Yeah. It's been so cold in Toronto because my mom lives in Canada in Toronto. And lately it was like negative 36 Celsius. That's like really, really freezing. And now basically you had about 60 degree changes in a couple of days, in a few days. And my ice, ice Christ is <laughs> melting. Your what? Ice Christ. What do you crust. mean? Ice crust. What do you mean? Korochka, da ledinai. Maya korochka ledinai. Oh, the ice crust that she means. Yeah. I'm melting has... now. <laughs> she was all frozen and now she's melting. Yes. Ice crust. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to have you here. Alexa, you're such a big girl now. I can't believe how big you got in one year. You were such a tiny little shrimp when we came here last year. She was just three months. Oh, and now? <laughs> now she's saying sentences. We just can't understand most of it yet, but we will soon enough. Oh, my sweetheart. Well, it's time to go back home because it's Alexa's bedtime. She goes to sleep at about 7 p.m. And then we're actually today have some business calls, so that's what we're gonna do. Alexa! Moms are staying behind to enjoy the sunset. Did you find a seashell? Alexa! Yeah, it's really hard to make it to 7 p.m. bedtime here. In London, we have no problems because it gets dark so early, but here... It's just when the golden hour starts, right at this time. Hey. Okay, now I'm about to have a meeting with I'm Alex. Vlogging, and I'm going to put you on the spot, Lolo. And our GM at Luxie here. Hi. Actually, you can't really see me. Wait. <laughs> She's in Toronto. Obviously, we're here in Cape Town. And yeah, this is what we do in our evenings. <laughs> All right, I have to start the meeting now. See you. just finished 
a meeting. What time is it, Alex? Yeah, 9.30. Yeah. So that was a very long meeting, but it had to be done. And yeah, we, we still, still haven't have to watch had... the sunset. Yeah, we watched the sunset. And yeah, while, while I, doing I, the I filmed a little bit as I was having the meeting. And now it's time for dinner, very late dinner. But thankfully, our moms are the sweetest and they made dinner already and just waiting for us to have it all together. I'm so hungry. That lunch was so small. <laughs> I'm definitely ready to eat. Good morning from my sous chef and I. Alex, say hi. Alex hi. is over there. Um, so we just made some breakfast. She was helping me. She was actually cooking underneath me in her little pot right here. <laughs> and we made, what did we make, Alexa? We made a delicious omelet with zucchini, with some onions, and with some shiitake mushrooms. Yummy! Did you say yummy? Say yummy! <laughs> Are you ready for the omelet? You want to eat? Okay, <laughs> I think that's it. You want to do it by yourself? Okay. Yeah, it's the whole fun. You want avo? You'll get it. Oh, oh that's a big piece. Oh. That's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> oh, are you this Ah. Okay, thank And now we're off to the beach. Alexa, you excited to go play in the sand? She's like, why? <laughs> so this is Clifton Beach. And we stayed here for a week last time we were in Cape Town. We literally stayed right here, like on the street. Yeah, you can see the house tour. And we were so close to the beach, it was amazing. Yeah, I'll link the house tour from Alex's channel down below. And the views are just spectacular. It's like you and the ocean. Let's go enjoy it. Enjoy it. So beautiful. So wide. <laughs> she loves doing that. Ball. Who's playing ball? Volleyball. There are people playing volleyball over there. And we're just chilling. Alexa had her lunch that I brought with me here. It was just leftovers of our breakfast, basically. Some avocado and that veggie omelet. It was really good. Yeah, it was nice. We're gonna head home soon. But people are just arriving to the beach. So yeah, we're gonna quickly have lunch and then Alex will stay and work here and I'm gonna go actually get my hair done at a nearby salon. I usually love doing my own hair but I've been doing this recently a lot because I find that productive. it's so productive. 
while somebody's doing my hair I'm on the phone answering to emails and messages and doing actually a lot of work like I said mentioned yesterday I think that I do a lot of my work now on the phone because I'm always on the go so yeah I really enjoy a little bit of pampering when I get my work done but now yeah we're gonna eat hopefully I still have time because I have my appointment in about 10 minutes I know. so if I don't get the food by then I'll bring it you'll eat all the food or I'll bring it to you yeah. and I'll have it later it's like the good old days when it was just the two of us yeah rare rare occasion I know it's so rare that it's just the two of us now yeah well that's it feels yeah, as she gets older and older there'll be more opportunities I'm sure yeah Alexei's napping now but yeah usually she loves her grandmas and she loves spending time with them Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm so happy I still get a chance to eat because I still have about five minutes. And the food looks amazing. It tastes so good. Appointment for a blow dry uh, yeah. at two. Can you need icon? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> you. So my hair is done. It's sort of nice loose big waves that's what i asked for it's kind of nice i have a lot of volume the way she did it she put a lot of brushes in it so every section had a brush in the hair very interesting way to do it did a lot of my emails while she was doing my hair i feel like i was very productive in this time and now i'm just heading back home to see alexa lydia just texted me that she was she just woke up So we're having dinner and I wanted to capture this moment of how Alexa is now eating with a fork. It's a pretty big deal. Yeah, it is a pretty big deal. Oh, it's amazing. You're eating with a fork. You're such a big girl. You're not a baby anymore. Yeah. Are you a baby? Oh, I think that was a shake. <laughs> She shook her head, that's hilarious. Yeah, she definitely doesn't think she's a baby. Look at me, I'm eating with a fork. You're eating with a fork, Alexa. I'm so, so happy for you. So we're having some cucumbers, some potatoes, some smoked salmon. You even got a smoked salmon on your fork. <laughs> high five, give me a high five. Okay, high five with a fork. <laughs> I love you, Alexa, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> All right, we'll also have some steamed broccoli. Alexa, would you like to have a broccoli? You want to show everybody how much you love broccoli? Nice. <laughs> Are you going to go for it with a fork? Oh, she took like a tiny little piece. Are you going to have the broccoli now? Still the smoked salmon. <laughs> oh, she's going for it. Amazing! Good job! Good job! You did so well! You're eating with a fork. Are you waving at yourself? <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Who is that? Alexa? 